Choriocarcinoma is a malignant tumor of syncytiotrophoblast and cytotrophoblast. It may be gestational in origin or non-gestational as a germ cell tumor. Gestational choriocarcinoma is most commonly associated with a complete hydatidiform mole. Uh, it can be also associated with a spontaneous abortion or with a normal term pregnancy. Gestational choriocarcinoma is highly treatable. It has good response to chemotherapy, unlike non-gestational germ cell choriocarcinoma, which has much worse prognosis. Gestational type of choriocarcinoma occurs in the placenta, and uh, it belongs to the spectrum of gestational trophoblastic disease. Non-gestational or germ cell uh, choriocarcinoma can occur in the ovaries or in the testis, and also sometimes rarely in some other organs like in the brain or lungs. Choriocarcinoma can also occur as a component of mixed germ cell tumors. Choriocarcinoma is usually a very hemorrhagic and necrotic tumor. That's what we see here. And only in part of the slide uh, we see viable cells. On the higher magnification we can see the cytotrophoblastic component which, which is formed by uh, atypical cytotrophoblastic single cells and syncytiotrophoblastic component with these multinucleated elements. Mitotic figures are quite uh, frequent. So here we have mitosis here, here, and also here and here. Syncytiotrophoblasts commonly create these lace-like structures with these fenestration or bubbles Quite commonly, we see these blood-filled lakes surrounded by syncytiotrophoblastic cells. Choriocarcinoma is commonly associated with hematogenous metastasis, which is quite logical because invading of the blood vessels uh, is also the function of the normal uh, invasive trophoblast. So once again, this is choriocarcinoma associated with atypical cytotrophoblast, syncytiotrophoblast. Thanks for watching.